Hey! Hey, folks! Welcome! Shannon Heaton here. Matt Heaton here. It is a beautiful spring day. True. True that. At the end of a glorious, but also kind of exhausting, vacation for yes. our kid, which meant that we were doing some work, but also making time for some family outings. We had a good time. We had a good time, friends. Woo, yes. And uh, delighted to end the weekend with some of you. Tomas, time for warming up indeed. And Bob, welcome. Thanks for joining us from Windy, Wisconsin. Exciting that you're going to be going to Ireland in two weeks. That's wow. so great. You're going to have a wonderful time. Arthur, we're terribly sorry that you're not feeling well, mm. and we send our healing wishes to you, and we'll play some lovely tunes and hopefully have you feeling better than when you uh, started joining us here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and to Shane, hello to our flute-playing friend. Shane had requested a really cool tune, which we're going to get to in a bit, but we got to warm up first. Oh, yeah. Um, exactly. Marco and Jeanette in Milan. Hello and welcome. Glad to have you. And we've got a California gang this time. Bill in San Francisco, Roxanne in Santa Rosa, Brian. Hello, Californians. Hello, West Coastians. Hi, Mike from Portland, Oregon. Hi, Saul in Michigan. Hi, Maria in the UK. Hi, Jaden in Holland. Hi, Carrie in Florida. Agnieszka, hello. Aga in Poland. And to Brian, hello in Illinois. So glad that you made it back from the mushroom hunting. Got lost. It's always exciting when you get lost, especially once you find your way out. Yeah. Margie in Minneapolis, hello. And we're excited for tunes too. Lynn, hello in Connecticut. Glad to have you joining us here again today. And wonderful to communicate with you uh, earlier this week. Jennifer in Michigan, hello my friend. To Kirsten in Germany, hi. To Julie in Tennessee. And to Steve the Pigeon in Scotland, hello and greetings to you. To Donna in Michigan. To Ted in Ontario. To Mary in Oregon. To Elise in Alexandria. Hi and welcome. Wonderful to play by the open window today. And um, you're glad that my flute has a furry resting place. Right, the pillow in the beginning, oh, the, the beginning okay. screen. Yes, it. it's, it's very happy with that indeed. <laughs> <laughs> um, at first I thought you meant it was the demise of my flute, but no, no. You know, resting place oh, is sort of like ooh, a, yeah. a euphemism. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> to Neil in Ohio, hi, welcome. Susan and Robert in Tennessee, hi, hi, hi. To James in London, to Lenore on the Jersey Shore, to Ignacio in Chile, to Fell in Los Angeles, to Adele in Halifax, Larry in Maryland, hi and welcome. Hi, Jim, nice to see you again. Joining us from Zimbabwe. <laughs> hi to Ken in California, all right there? Yeah, I'm good. Hi, Daryl in California. Oh, yes, our no, Hooli records. <laughs> yes, and to Linda in Colorado, two weeks in a row, my friend. Hi, Willie in Denver. Hi, Gabriella in Germany. Friends, we're going to start off with a lovely jig in E minor, which is in the In Harmony collection. Barney, you know this one. Hi, welcome, and thanks for joining us in New York. So Gallagher's Frolics, or Gallagher, uh, goes like this. Yep. All right. Hi, Fel. Nice to have you joining us today. A one, two. Here we go, friends.
this is our new collection of um, classic tunes. tunes. And really, um, congrats to us, but congrats to all of us. I think without the last two years of sharing these moderately paced tunes and really common tunes mm. and rotating common tunes, and getting to discover and encounter lots of folks who made great progress over the last two weeks by focusing on common tunes, played not too fast. It was a big motivator for us yep. to pull together this collection. And I don't think without all of us, we would have thought to do it in quite this way. No way. No. Um, so if you don't know, In Harmony is our new book of tunes, standard tunes that we rotate commonly on this session. And the cool thing is that we played each tune three times around and the first two times, no variations. None. Also, very slowly. Whew, and that was really challenging and really good. Yeah. Good. Um, so there you go. And to Pat, glad that you were mowing the grass. The new um, mown meadow. The new mown meadow. Uh, mm. Things are coming along. Spring is springing. So it's leaf week this week, Shannon. Is it? It is. Oh my goodness. That's right. But we got to save enough for the compost bin. Yeah, I know. Those rotten ones are really good. Don't yeah, get rid of those. I won't. Uh, so we're going to carry on with some reels. That's some right. Reels. And Allison, hi in Rhode Island. Glad that you're listening while driving to the beach. And hopefully beach. we can have a big VGS session on Allison's beach before too long. I would like to invite everybody to Allison's home. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if we could all join together in real life? All of us here. Dean, hi. Welcome. And thanks for joining us from Illinois. Um, so we're going to do the Hunter's Purse and the mm. Wise Maid. So... Into one, two, here we go, A minor D. Oops, that's not the right tune. Yeah, I don't Sorry, friends. Da 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 Two, sorry, friends.
mm-hmm. little master class in um, what to do and what not to do <laughs> uh, in terms of melodic variation. What is melodic variation? Of course, playing around with the melody, coming up with little variations, inventing little turns and twists. And you know, sometimes you got to throw it all against the wall and see what sticks. Which I did a couple times, and uh, things did, didn't quite stuck. stick. Some did. And then part of it is imitation. When mm-hmm. you hear somebody do a thing, now that was a little snarky. Was, you know, I did sort of a silly thing, yeah. and then you copied my silly thing. But you know, it kind of led into a really beautiful backing yeah. passage for a moment. So you never know, even when you're being a little silly, you yeah. never know what's I going to. I thought it was good. Yeah. It was good. Good moment. Uh, I'm going to get a, a seltzer. Would you like anything? I Just some plain water. Some plain some water. Still Excuse water. me, friends. Is yes. anyone, what, anyone? Can I get anything while I'm up? Tea? Anyone? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Arthur, we're going to get some tea for you yeah, as well. Okay. Maybe ginger tea, a little bit of honey, a little bit of lemon. A little whiskey. Um, Donna, so I'm really glad that you're enjoying uh, playing with the In Harmony MP3s. And if anybody missed the memo, you know, you can go all the way to the left to get just flute or all the way to the right on your, you know, um, mix to get just the guitar if you want to play with one or the other. Um, so Donna, yay, glad you're enjoying those. And Elizabeth, hi and welcome. Glad to have you joining us in real time. Elise, you're into Allison's beach idea. I am too. Allison, I'm making a party on your beach. Elizabeth, Elise, Shannon, Matt are in. It's going to be crowded, I think. Um, and yes, Tomas, I do love the two times around when learning. Um, and I mean, when I'm learning a tune, sometimes I'll try to play it like six or seven or eight times around. Um, it really helps to solidify it for me. Um, Maria, glad that the apple tree is flowering. Spring is really in the air here. Um, so John, nice to have you joining us from Michigan. And Chieftain's lilting to the Hunter's Purse. Is it Kevin Kniff uh, singing it? I just love hearing him sing and hearing him lilt the tunes. It's just so beautiful. It goes right straight to the heart. Also, the um, Mike Rafferty's brother, uh, Patty Rafferty, great lilter. Um, and there's a beautiful duet. Um, you can look for it on YouTube of them doing um, the... Um, di, do, do, the New Moon Meadows um, and it's Patty Lilting and Mike playing the flute and it's just the, the, the best piece of music really ever <laughs> ever Saul says AFD 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 indeed um, John like me any chance we could see the tunes in advance somewhere I don't often uh, post uh, in advance um, I do know what we're going to do for the next two sets though so I'm going to post those right now we're going to do a request from Shane we're going to do the policeman's holiday um, and then we're going to do a set of polkas so I'm posting those right here right now and um, one of these days uh, so for the slow slow fast sessions I have been doing a good job uh, coming up with a set list in advance and I post that on the VGS Facebook page Facebook group private Facebook group so the next slow slow fast we do I'll post that in advance for sure hi Wes and Julie in Maryland glad to be joining us and Jeff in Arkansas hi and welcome hi Chuck in Michigan good to see you again and um, let's see some folks coming in want to make sure everybody feels welcomed Mary cup of tea mm, cup of tea real maybe um, Arthur mint tea good I think good anything anything that sounds good to you is what you should drink I did to get Shannon's water yeah it's here <laughs> hmm. I will not have my tea. okay I've, have I been impugned so the policeman's holiday now this is a really unique one I looked this up Shane cool I heard a Johnny Doherty uh, recording of it and I also heard a more modern recording of it um, Amor Mayock played it on her Merry Bits of Timber I love that sweet album of hers um, so we're gonna try sort of a mashup of the two and it's got three parts and the third part is unique <laughs> La do 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 da do do do. Maybe just go to a D chord. G do do yeah. G do do. Yeah, I'm. Th- I mean the 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 little chromatic. I'm assume I'm counting the um, the F natural as as uh, gratuitous coloration. Okay, so in the <laughs> B function. in the C part of the tune, just lots of G's and D's. Yeah. That's for Pat on the piano. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. And any other backers. Yeah. The us. other the other thing that took me a minute um, with this tune is that the. The, the little ba da da gets, the first time it happens, it's like on whatever beat two of the measure, and the next time it happens is on beat one of the measure, so it's kind of like it uh, offsets it a little bit. It's crazy. It's yep. a crazy little tune. It is a crazy little tune. Thanks, yep. Shane. And then we're going to go into Willie Coleman's, which is a little which is less a, crazy. Not a crazy tune. But when Mihal Dono backed it with that C chord, it sounded a little unique. So here we go. One. Oh, Liz Carroll taught the policeman's holiday? Cool. Okay. One, 
two, here we go. <laughs> Please, month holiday. Yeah, it's grown on me. Totally fun. Matt didn't I, like I will it confess, at first. No, I, I will confess. I was like, when Shannon was first learning that tune, I was walking by and I was listening to it. I'm going like, what is that? Why are we playing that? You were mad at me. I was mad at you because I knew me. I was going to have to learn it. 
<laughs> and you did it. You did it. You did it, and you're a better person for it. <laughs> um, yes. So, Julie and John, hello and welcome. It is a beautiful day in Massachusetts, and we're heading down to the Boston Public Library after this for a live WGBH yes. set. How fun so will the, that be? Mm. So, the Boston Public Library, um, they recently, like in, I don't know, it's five, six years, they built this fabulous new edition, and uh, WGBH, the uh, public library, radio station broadcasting broadcasting station. station yeah they have a a mobile studio there so they they sometimes broadcast things from there and brian o'donovan who does the celtic music show uh sometimes hosts live music and i believe we are the first ones uh in two years yeah and so. we're really looking forward to it so glad that it's a sunny day so yeah. we can park downtown and enjoy being downtown for a while as well mm -hmm. while we're there so lovely day happy to be part of it sean captain tokyo hello and welcome back nice to have you here and dad how wonderful that your uh da that your daughter's birthday is today happy birthday to elaine and i have a friend called elaine who loves polkas. So we will send this next uh -huh. tune out to Elaine for a birthday polka called the Tower Polka. T-A-U-R, I love this little sweet, simple tune. It's in first 50, actually. It is. Because those were all tunes that I thought were beautiful um, and also sort of simple. And then we'll do a tune for Aga because um, we were in communication earlier. And Aga, you played Tripping to the Well. I love that polka as well. So we'll try the two. The first one is and then the second one is Ugh. are you in tune with yourself and then i'll tune with you <laughs> uh, probably. hey julie you're a librarian that's an awesome awesome librarian to the best awesome vocation Boy, the pandemic would have looked very different without libraries. Oh my God. Thank goodness. We read a lot of books. And we all we still do. We always yeah. do. All right. So. Um, and the pandemic isn't over, I suppose. And reading will never be over. So um, let's see. Uh, oh. Let me tune to you. Okay. So I'm going to remember the second tune. I'm going to keep in my head G, A, B, G to remember where I'm going. Here we go. Da, do, do, do. Ready? Go.
happy birthday, <laughs> Elaine. Some happy polkas for you. And um, Liam Kelly also recorded the Tripping to the Well, right? Um, as played by John McKenna on his amazing John McKenna album. Did, did anyone get a, get a hold of that thing on vinyl? I heard they pressed it on vinyl, but I, I wasn't able to find it. This is pretty neat, friends. Uh, Liam Kelly, our friend who plays the flute, uh, many of us know him with his work with Dervish, made an album on John McKenna's own flute. Uh, recorded in John McKenna's childhood home. Is that cool or what? Um, and in fact, I did a whole story about it as well as the story of, of uh, Wes and Julie's farm um, and a podcast episode that was a real pretty one called Written in Mortar. But anyway, um, great the, to have the all the shouts li- out for the librarians. librarian. The librarian spouses are all, all chiming in. Yeah, and it's awesome. <laughs> and, you know, uh, for our friends in Europe, maybe you don't know, um, but we don't have the kind of arts funding in our country as you do uh, in many of your European countries. Um, libraries do receive uh, some government funding, not as much uh, during certain um tenures mm. of government as others but uh, libraries don't know all don't just have books over here um, probably like in Europe libraries are also huge gathering spaces for community and um, librarians are tireless advocates for arts and community events mm. um, so they do a lot more than just um, keep us entertained uh, with books you know it's a really really important community space for us in Medford Massachusetts we have a new library it's amazing and we hung on and our old dumpy little library was really important for all of us in the community and so it's really honorable that now we have a beautiful space that uh, can hold even more yep. people and the top floor is like a love letter to children it's <laughs> beautiful it has everything that you'd ever want to do and be and mm-hmm. explore as a kid it's just beautiful space for teens space for tweens space for littles it's really really so sweet it's everyone's library and adjacent in this, in this group good I'm yeah. not surprised mm-hmm. um, so uh, let's see ships are sailing yes it's time for E minor I think yes. and Somebody had, somebody had asked about the the um, uh, uh, streaming the the um, our, our thing at GBH. Do you want to, do we have a link for that? The, oh sure, yes, yeah, there we is, do. We they do. will be. Um, well, there's information about yeah. it here. I don't know if this is the right link. Well, I, yeah, we I imagine. There we go. That'll get you there. Yeah, yeah. Okie doke. And uh, also uh, Neil Perm. Neil Perlman, who is a fabulous piano player, is going to be playing uh, before us. And a good pal. Yeah. It'll be nice to see pal. him. Yeah. Alan, yay. Glad that you're a library fan, too. All right, ships are sailing and the Duke of Leinster. Uh, the Duke of Leinster goes like this. So I'm going to remember that that's where I'm going. Um, these are in, in harmony, too. Ships are sailing, Duke of Leinster. Really trying to trot out the common core tunes here. Trot. That's not a good word. Really trying to uh, celebrate. <laughs> oh my gosh, June Tabor was a librarian. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. She's the best. Always. There we go. Ready. Go. <laughs> Oh, 
ahead and give you a heads up. That's all right. And up to minor tunes, indeed. Minor tunes are great. And also there's the context, right? Oh, I love a minor tune into a major tune just like that. So exciting. It kind of gives more beauty to each of them. They all kind of rub off on each other. I love mm -hmm. that. And Adele, that's so sweet that you worked in libraries before the internet. And in fact, one of uh, my favoritest job ever oh, yeah. um, was my college years, my internship, or what is it called? Work-study work study. job. Was working at the reserve room of the library with Anna Anhod, was the... Uh, uh, the reserve room librarian um, with all the art books and the music books it was so beautiful and I loved Anna so much and she and I became she was an old uh, Austrian woman and uh, we became friends and I would have lunch at her place um, well after working for her um, that was really really fun um, Shane, that's hilarious that you're 30 minutes behind in the stream. I hope that you heard the policeman's holiday and um, we're happy to have you whenever, <laughs> wherever yeah. and whenever you are. And Petter, nice to have you joining us from Norway. Good to see you again. Hope the family is well. Um, so up next is some slip jigs. Yeah. And... And... Yeah, let's do those two so that we have the minor major thing again. So, again, remembering F A A F A D A F D. That's how I'm going to remember. That's where I'm going. Do, 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 do. Yes. Good. How much more D could it be? And the answer is none. One, two, three, one, two.
Welcome, Loic. I'm glad that you're joining us. Join whenever you can. And Dad, I love that you enjoyed the trill. I saw your little <laughs> note there, so then I did another trill. <laughs> um, and we tried a couple of uh, snarky things there. I saw um, that Neil had mentioned that with our, it's in harmony. Mm. It's helpful to see like what chords you're playing. Good. And of course, Matt's not looking at in harmony right now, so no, he's not necessarily I'm not playing, the same playing exactly yeah, the same but, chords. Um, um, but that was the well, idea. Hopefully, I'm in the same key. And that was the idea with the project, was to come up with a way, right? One yeah. way and present that. Um, and that was the trick for us, is yeah. Matt coming up with one I've, progression. I've always I've always kind of fought writing down chords because I don't want to, like, you know, it, there, there isn't just one answer. Like, like finding chords to play for tunes is a puzzle, and there are, there, there are wrong answers, but there are many right answers, too. And so I'm always a little, I've always been kind of hesitant to say, like, I am the authority, and this is what you should play. But, so I'm, 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 I offer it as a suggestion of something that might work. And then on the recordings, of course, the third time around, mm. I went loose with the variations, and you changed the chords up a bit. Mm. So that was kind of a chance to say, and then here's a few other ideas hmm. many many other right tunes um okay so now offertory time yes, yes we're going yes. to we're going to pass the digital hat uh friends if you 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 know this speech by now but if you're joining for the first time we we um do put out the tip jar at this point and we're going to play something uh something a little snappy for you something brand new mm -hmm. and this is for rachel rachel uh you and i were zooming and uh, in the middle of our Zoom sesh, you kind of looked out the window and saw a brown weasel just running right past. Mm. So sweet, she lives in the woods. Um, so it was this yeah. little brown weasel, like in late March, I think this happened. Uh -huh. um, and you know, weasels, uh, a lot of times they turn white in the winter. Sneaky. But this little brown one went by. Mm. And so I was thinking about that just the other day because something darted past our, you know, outside. It was probably mm. like a little chipmunk or something like that. But I thought of the brown weasel. Mm. And this tune came out. So I hope that you enjoy it. It's called The Brown Weasel. And we'll go into, speaking of um, the policeman's holiday that Shane yeah. had requested earlier. We'll, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we'll play. We'll, oh, we will play <coughs> McFadden's Handsome Daughter. Um, and... McFadden <coughs> was, he was one of the, the dudes on the police force, right, with, with O'Neill, uh, and apparently had a handsome daughter. The strange thing that I have to report <coughs> is Shannon was uh, typing Ooh. this typing this into a list, and, you know, that you, you get the auto, <coughs> the auto, auto correct, auto suggestion, whatever, and it said, uh, it, it's, Sorry. yeah, oh dear, uh, looks like I'm playing, I will play them by myself. No, just kidding. Uh, but, no, she started to type uh, McFadden's handsome daughter, and got to like DAU and it filled in daughter-in-law. And I don't know why that would be the default setting. Um, <coughs> Saul, PayPal, I don't know. Uh, hopefully hopefully that's just a you problem. I don't know what well, to Maybe say. the brown weasel. Maybe the brown weasel got the in brown there. brown weasel started the chewing on PayPal. Uh, yeah. PayPal is down. Well, that's handy. Great. That's okay. great. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Okay. One. Thank you. 
right, Chuck. Yes, those were quick and meant just to be a little offering, a little quick break for everybody playing along here. Um, playing with us and and uh, apparently PayPal is back. So thanks for thanks for your updates, gang. Yeah, thanks. And so it, carrying on, I think we forgot the banjos. Yeah. Mm. So I've I've had this banjo sitting here for the whole the whole time, and <laughs> you know the old saying: if you introduce a banjo in Act One, you have to play it in Act Two. So uh, <laughs> I, we will try a little a little banjo. Little banjo time. Little banjo. Little banjo time. Um, I know, Arthur. I was trying to take your COVID for a second. No. Just wanted to take it from you so that you don't have to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, but <no. laughs> uh, Weasley, Ron Weasley tune, very funny. Oh. All right. So I like, I like it. I like that new little tune yeah, there. Yeah, I love it. Mm, it'll it'll come along in the next in the next few days. We'll get it up to up to better quality. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Exciting that you guys were selling hot sauce. Wait, tell me more. Yes, her husband has a hot sauce business. Give a link if it's a if, if people are able to buy the hot sauce I yet. Like hot we sauce. would love to know more. Um, so the banjo jigs made on the green and Haggett the churn. Yeah. Um, so that's the second tune. Da, da, yep. da. Are you in tune for yourself? I'm.
sharp just mm. at the very end. It's awfully nice. Nice catching it. I love it. it too, whether I do it or not. <laughs> I like all the uh, play jokes. You know, never introduce a banjo and, mm. you know, so uh, setting fire to the banjo. Of course, the librarians all know the, the dramaturge jokes too. <laughs> it's a very uh, erudite crowd. <laughs> and I do like the idea, does the maid on the green become the hag at the churn? Do oh, mm. oh man, that's, that's rough. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I also love uh, you asking uh, Loic about uh, f sessions in Washington and in Denver. As Elise said, she could give you a list of D.C. sessions. Maybe somebody else could give you a list of Denver sessions here in the chat or um, also on the Facebook page. Um, that's a good question to pose. Um, through the week, folks are staying connected through the Facebook page, yep. our private group. And if you're not already a member and you wish to join, just make sure to answer the membership questions so we know that you're mm, a human and not, not like, you know, kind of weird. Uh, yeah, something or other. Uh, something or other. That, and, not, that you're untoward. And I think who someone someone was mentioned the low G on the banjo. Um, the Irish banjo is usually tuned uh, like that G, like a, a fiddle down an, down an octave, so G D A E. Yes, G D A E. Um, so get, the, get that note. And Rune, welcome. You're just un in time for the Otter's Holt because mm. I figured since we did the brown weasel, maybe yeah, we need to do the sweet theme. little uh, Otter's Holt. And then let's do a couple more from Perspective. The um, mm. I often think of Diana from Mayo with her dad um, playing the box on that tune, Donald Blue. And then we'll do Far From Home. And that is so sweet, Elizabeth, that you and your mom both played the banjo. I, I love that image of the two of you playing banjo <laughs> together. So sweet. All right, so the Otter's Holt, the Donald Blue, and Far From Home. Here we go. So one, two, here we go.
rest up. Mm. Of course, we heal best rest when we rest. Thing. Rest is the best. And I also just learned, I think, from Julie that we do a staggering like 90% of our learning when we are asleep. Like processing and really learning new information, so, new material. If I want to take a nap, I'm just like, I got to learn something. <laughs> well, just that, you know, when, when yeah. we're sleeping, we're really doing stuff. Yeah. We're really working on things. I remember when I, I uh, first I lived it. in Thailand. I was telling you this, Julie, when I first lived in Thailand, I slept 12 hours a night. Uh, you know, I was like 16 years old and I was sleeping 12 hours a night. And I would wake up and I would... I had figured things out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what that meant, and that's amazing. It you can learn. Right. A, that's a, it's a real important when you're learning a language to get lots of rest, but go also when go. you're learning uh, Irish music and when you're healing. So we're gonna finish uh, with "She Begs You More." Chuck had requested "She Begs You More." That is what we're gonna play to finish. And um, before we do. Thanks so much for joining us, friends. Uh, if we sleep on the In Harmony recordings, will we know all the tunes? Yeah. I think so. Put them Just on repeat. Put the CD under the pillow. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. Dank u wel. Gramahagat. Ta palat. Merci beaucoup. Trigare. Arigato gozaimas. Muchas gracias. Tinkoya. Dank you. Dank you. Mille grazie. Tietje. Mkoi. Toda. Chvalavam. Tusen tak. Kam sahamida, ev haristo, chvalavam, eskerik asko, danyavad, kidos, natenda, shukran, mikwech, yutva, spasiba, achehe, salamat, tarimakasi, dioch, kusinem, mito brigado, kam un, kopkun naka. Thanks a lot, everybody, and hope to see you next week for the virtual guided session. And here is She Begs You More, lovely people all playing together. I'm imagining us playing it down at the beach house. <laughs> all together. Sounds good. One, two, three, one. Oh. It's in D. Yeah, it it's is. in the key of D. Yeah, so right. one, right. two, three, one. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. Be well. Take care.